Shalom, O praise to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakah Kadash. So, what are the apostles at Great Millstone? Salute to you, brothers, teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. And, um, you know, um, this particular scripture, um, well, I'm going to read the scripture. This particular video is going to focus on Gad. Um, I'm going to do a part two to this because uh, there's a particular book um, that are uh, dealing with Gadites and stuff like that. You know, and um, you know, war tactics and just certain things about Gad. But uh, I ain't got the book on me right now. I think it might be, in, in, you know, packed up somewhere. Um, but you know, uh, you know, Gad. The word Gad means troop, and then you got the tribe of Reuben. Um, as well, you know, the North American Indians that would, you know, paint their face. You know, and you know, pretty much, uh, it's it's um, you know, it's scary, you know, if you will, because the scriptures refers to to them doing that. Let's get, you know, let me get the scripture on that right now. This is um. First Chronicles. Twelve and eight. I hate when it does this. First um, Chronicles twelve and eight it says and the and the and of the Gadites, there was they separated themselves unto David into the hold, to the wilderness men of might, and men of war fit for the battle. Because the heavenly Father deals with warriors, man. You know the the Lord Himself is known as what a man of war. The, the heavenly Father Himself is known as a man of war. And you got warriors in the nation of Israel, and you've even got war tribes, tribes that are, you know, warriors. That's what they were made to be. That's in their spirit. So just things that they might do, you know, the way they live, you know, they might, you know, they just do things a certain way. And because it's in their spirit, man. First Chronicles twelve and eight, and of the Gadites, they were separated, and they separated themselves unto David into the hold, to the wilderness, men of might and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler, okay, whose faces were like the faces of lions. And that's what I'm going to focus on here. But, you know, um, you had King David, you had King David's mighty men, and you had the Gadites on to fighting, you know, for David, King David. You know, and you know, the whole way, um, you know, the tribe of Gad Reuben lived and all that, moving around, living off the land, you know, you just watch, uh, I wouldn't even say, just, just, just check it out, but that's how they, that's how they are. Now, it says whose faces were the faces of lions. Now, when you look at their face paint, I mean, if you was to see it, um, you see them in the dark. You know, coming out of the bushes on you, you know, with these with these um countenances, you you know, you're gonna be um you're gonna be scared. You know, like they had um what was it, Sting from wrestling. And they kinda of made him like modeled him after a gadite, you know. Then you had what the the movie The Crow. And it's supposed to be these like scary figures. Now when you let's look at let's go here. Now putting a tiger in the woods. In the night. Faces of lions. They would paint their faces and they would look, uh, you know, scary. You know? And like, and like we said, you know, the Heavenly Father, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord, let's get that. Matter of fact, let's get that. Matter of fact, let's, let's get that. Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So the Heavenly Father, man, he, he's got tribes. You know, he's got different types of tribes. He's got tribes with different characteristics. And the Lord is, um, you know, the ultimate, you know, artist, painter, whatever you want to put, word you want to put on it. Because he's the creator of all, he's the essence of everything. And, um, 
you know, he's got 12 tribes, different characteristics, and he's got war tribes. Why? Because the Lord is a man of war. The Lord, Yahweh is his name, so he tells you there. You know? You know, and then, you know, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through the prophecies, you know, you had the Gadites, the thing that was going on up there in Canada. Um, these, you know, Gad, Reuben, they're gonna get theirs on um on the on their oppressors, on the Edomites. So let's get that. Let me turn off my um, just in case. Uh, Genesis forty nine and nineteen. Gad, a troop shall overcome him. But he shall overcome at the last. Okay. Now, um, there's, you know, there's history and details and the way they, you know, applied the paint. You know, it meant stuff in a certain way they would wear it and stuff like that. Before, you know, warrior class. Societies, man. War societies, you know. Uh, war bands. You know, and, and things like that. You see engraved in these tribes to be like this okay so the heavenly father's out there you know you got these um plantation christians that they want to put you in this in you know basically you're when you repeat up pick up the scriptures you, you you're thinking like edomites Let me undo that. Now let me put in lions in the night. Let's see what I get on that. <clears throat> now they say that the tiger's visions improves or is heightened in the night. That you have it, man. So this was a quick video touching on a quick scripture here. Cause you know a lot you know these Edomites were getting um, you know, scared when they were seeing these Gadite warriors and stuff coming out of the bushes, you know, on their ass, you know, paint with their faces painted. But you know the thing is is that um it was Esau's time to rule. And you know now Esau's ruling with his technology, but he's gonna get stripped of that. You know the, the the heavenly father was dealing with Esau for him to to rule. And that's why you got something called manifest destiny. Okay. Manifest destiny. Okay. So there you have it, man. <laughs> you know, faces um, of lions. And that's exactly what they look like. You know, and, and like I said, man, um, you know, the Heavenly Father is the ultimate, man, and he's got different tribes. With different, you know, you know, kind of characteristics and stuff like that. You got, you know, so I'm not gonna go all into that. Warriors, priests, this and that, you know. <clears throat> um, you know, that was pretty much the point, man. So, you know, with that, I'm gonna say, um, shallow one.